Alright, I, I, I guess I just couldn't get enough of it, you know, so I'm back real quick. I just wanted to show you something really cool before I get in there and start sweating and going crazy. Okay, so one of my favorite, 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 favorite guys that I am listening to lately, and I've been introduced to him by another guy. So here's the beauty of getting high ticket mentoring is that they're going to introduce you to thinkers, to creators, to coaches that you never would have thought about, right? So sometimes a lot of people tell you, oh my God, you got ripped off, you didn't get success, but in reality, it just prepared you for success so check this out here we go so the guy that uh i got some really good high mentoring his name is ben martin and he's a uh, part of the virtual profit system all right and then he introduced me to a guy called ben settle who's an email marketing specialist right and then ben settle talked about a guy called dante nero okay so see how it goes boom 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 all right so dante nero's got a show that's called beige phillips show okay and this is basically a show that's teaching men how to get their balls back i know it sounds so crazy but it basically is teaching men how to be men how to be successful with women and in life all right so yes it is a little bit of, it is a bit of macho it is a bit of hardcore so if you go and see the beige phillips show and he's dropping f-bombs and he's getting a little graphic with stuff don't don't blame me all right don't i don't shoot the messenger all right so anyway beige phillips has got this great rule that he talks about um he's talking about laying your five bricks down daily so what does he mean by that he he means that for you to succeed, especially now I'm going to talk about guys and girls, right? But this applies for guys and guys, girls and girls, guys and dogs, whatever, dogs and cats. All right. But anyway, he says that for you to succeed with like for, for a guy to succeed with women, he's got to talk to five women every day. OK, and it doesn't matter who it is. It could be the old lady selling flowers at the grocery store, you know, but he's got to talk about f to five women every day so that the guy gets comfortable talking to women and he learns to speak to all different types of women. OK, now what's really cool about this law is that he says that if you have just gone over a breakup okay it's essential that you speak to five people that's five women every day because that's how you a you're gonna get over it that's how you're gonna be able to you know see hope right in a horizon that's that's completely hopeless and it's also gonna give you a chance to get out of your slump right so that's the secret he says if you're laying your five bricks down right if you're speaking to five women every day that means that you're number one you're getting more comfortable speaking to the opposite sex or whatever that you're looking for right number two you're gonna also make the numbers the law of averages work for you because you're exposing yourself to many people you're talking to so many people right and number three it just helps you get better at your communication dialogue okay so i laid down the beige phillips five uh, laying down the five bricks right now how do we apply that to business right how does that help you because i know you're probably thinking like man i'm married i'm not looking for that i'm not looking for any tail or you're thinking i'm in a relationship i'm not looking for any tail this doesn't apply to me before you hit that switch off button before you go to another show all right let, let me tell you how you apply that to your business if you do the same mentality right to your business and when you say i'm gonna talk to five people every day but okay now very 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 important i'm not saying that you run and see the first person you know you're driving your car and you see somebody at a bus stop and you pull over and you're like hey you want to join my network marketing business that's not what i'm talking about and i'm not even talking about the same thing if you have your own business right because i remember once i had i was in the high end of chicago i was nordstrom's i was like on michigan avenue i had a chance i had a lease i had a lease in a high-end optical right and and i was like oh this is gonna be so good but guess what i didn't know how to market myself my budget was low and i was listening to the wrong people actually i had one good person on my side but i needed much more than that one person i needed a whole team to succeed okay but guess listen to the advice that the co-workers the guys that were selling glasses in that place were telling me they were telling me doc what you got to do is that you got to print flyers and you got to go outside to the street and you got to hand out flyers to the people on the sidewalks telling them to come and get a, uh, an eye exam okay now think about it if your eye doctor comes up to you on a sidewalk to give you a flyer to come get an eye exam is that is that is, is this doctor coming from a, a place of abundance are they coming from a place of value no, they're coming from a place of desperation, right? And that's not what I'm telling you to do. I'm not telling you to do that, to go out there and, uh, you know, jump on people. I'm saying talk to five people a day. What I mean is create a relationship with five people a day. Reach out to five people a day, okay? You, maybe of those five people, maybe only one you're actually going to want to keep talking to, right? But still, Start the whole point is establishing relationships, right? Facebook, you know what the hardest thing about Facebook is? 
that it's other people there. We think Facebook is just a bunch of robots, right? Artificial robots that are on the other side of the, that we're the only real person. Everybody else is fake. And so we believe, sometimes we go in there, we don't even think, hey, let me ask this person how they're doing, you know, because we're thinking they're going to think that I'm going to pitch them. I think that's the hardest thing about Facebook is finding a way to connect with people, you know, and that's the challenge, right? So that's, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Five steps. Talk to five people a day. Don't pitch to five people. I'm saying talk to five. Reach out to five people. Find out what 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 are their fears. Find out what what are, what are their needs. Find out. Not even that. Find out also what's the what's the word on the street, right? Uh, find out. Everybody is a treasure trove. You just have to find the key, and the key is going to be in your words. All right. So. Do that. Five, lay, lay down your five bricks a day and I guarantee that you're going to grow, your business is going to grow, and you're going to have much more success. All right. So always keep growing, keep sharing, keep loving. Don't forget, swipe it up, swipe it down. Have a great day. Share this. And I know you're going to do it. You know why you're going to do it? Because I'm doing it and I'm here and you're there and we're connected and we're going to tear it up. All right. Love you. Bye-bye.